There's something about death and what comes after death that seems to intrigue a lot of us. In a book called The In-Betweens, Mira Patassin explores the history of mediums and spiritualists, specifically how they've formed in Maine. Mira joins us to talk about the book and what some of the research was going into this. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. What was it that first drew you to a camp in the woods of Etna? Well, I think anyone who is alive is interested in what happens after you die. So when I was told that there's a community of mainly women who live kind of off the beaten path and they spend a lot of their time communicating with the deceased, um, I pretty much dropped everything I was doing and <laughs> drove there to see what this camp was all about. Do you still see and sense and feel and hear spirits of the past from Camp of Etna? Course. This book takes a lot of different directions. You talk about spiritualism and how it formed in Maine. Talk about um, dowsing, is that how you say it? I know my grandfather did it to look oh, really? for a well, yeah. Oh, wow. What is it about spiritualism that's sort of weaving through our state? Oh, wow. Well, there's a lot. Um, to begin with, spiritualism was founded in the late 1800s and it it, it started around the time of the w women's first, the f women's rights convention, the first women's rights convention. And with that, and after all the losses after the Civil War, there was all this energy to um, s like operate out of your intuition, like your female intuition, as well as um, do something about the grief, this massive tsunami of grief that happened after the Civil War. So this religion sparked. With starting with two young sisters communicating with a person, a dead person. And then it exploded into this huge religion with millions and millions of followers. So there were spiritualist depots in every state. And the remnants, now that spiritualism has kind of quieted down, the remnants are still everywhere. Um, the main one is Camp Etna, near, uh, in Etna, Maine, is still kind of going strong. But there's a lot of things we do nowadays that, um, you know, kids play with Ouija boards. Um, we have seances sometimes. Um, I don't, but um, <laughs> you know, meditation, uh, dowsing is something that it's a tool you're using to um, find something you're looking for, find answers. But really, it's not the sticks that are telling you the answers. It's some kind of intuition that you have, and this is kind of how spiritualism operates. The two principles are: uh, we follow the golden rule. And the other principle is we can communicate with the dead. And um, a lot of this is done just by like listening to, to your quiet voice rather than reacting to things all over the place. For a lot of people, some of the stories can be difficult to um, really support. I think a yeah, lot of people sure. are hesitant to believe this is real. You write that you went into this as a journalist. You mm -hmm. kind of just wanted to see what it was about. What did you learn about this? I learned, first of all, that it's, it's good to be skeptical. Even the mediums, who some of them have really, really blown my mind, um, they say that they're skeptics too. Like, I can't believe I can do this. How do I know I'm not just crazy? Um, so I think it's really okay to be skeptical. Another thing I learned is that it's way more nuanced than just, you know, seeing a floating, um, sheet with holes in it, <laughs> it's, or just seeing like the ghost of Scrooge. It's um, it's it's really really nuanced, and so um, you just really have to believe yourself. It's just trusting in what your something is telling you, and that's something. Although I can't see ghosts, and I I'm not a medium. After leaving the camp, um, I'm still a skeptic. I but I'm I'm open to way more. Um, mind-blowing possibilities. And I also left camp, after spending about five years with the people of Camp Etna, I left camp really with confidence um, that I can trust myself and listen to my own gut. And my own intuition is just as valid as anyone else's. You mentioned part of this book is, is exploring the feminism about mm -hmm. spiritualism. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, for instance, after I had my first child, um, my husband and I would talk, we'd talk about our parenting, or I would say something like, 
that cry means he's hungry or um, he's gonna wake up any second, I can just tell. It w I didn't have um, proof of how I knew this, but it was just this like mother's instinct. And um, there's something that we all have that is similar to that kind of instinct. And um, that's something I've learned from Camp Edna. Mira Patassin, thanks so much for coming in. The book is called The In-Betweens. And if you want to learn more about Camp Etna, our new Center Maine reporter, Hannah Yeshivi, actually recently did a story about it, including Mira. You can find a link to that in the 207 section of our website. And we will be right back.